uh, I have been working on virus evolution for almost 24 years now. Uh, it has been it has been changing a lot uh, for multiple reasons. First, because uh, in the early years, it was like a marginal uh, side of virology. So it was just a few virologists were interested in evolution. A few evolutionary biologists were interested in viruses. But now this interest is expanding. So more and more virologists really feel that evolution is the probably the most important part of virology. So it has to really be a substantial part of, of, of uh, the study of viruses. Evolutionary biologists now uh, really appreciate the value of viruses as tools for uh, really testing evolutionary theories. And, and so this, this combination of, of, of virologists really uh, appreciating evolution and bi evolutionary biologists really appreciating viruses will drive the field to, to some new stage in which we really hope to be able of really understanding what viruses are and how they evolve. Um, how will it be in 10 years from now? Well, <laughs> it depends on, 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 on the integration of these different areas. So virus evolution is going to be a multidisciplinary field with the input of, as I say, virologists, evolutionary biologists, but also statisticians, physicists working on complex systems, uh, molecular biologists and biochemists, clinicians, all these integrated force will drive the field to, I hope, to something that will really help to, to understand viruses. And if we understand viruses, we may be able of controlling viral diseases and developing antiviral drugs and antiviral treatments that might be more robust against virus evolution. So the field of virus evolution is growing very rapidly. Um, it's a very exciting time to be working in the field and it's uh, one of the main reasons that we thought um, it was important to, to bring together all the disparate researchers um, uh, in the field um, together with the journal. Um, in 10 years time, I think there's going to be orders of magnitude more genomic data uh, for us to, to analyse and handle. Uh, so we'll also need new theories to help uh, interpret those data uh, uh, to answer important biological questions. Um, we could see an increase in the number of new um, infectious disease outbreak caused by viruses and uh, in each case it's important to understand whether evolution is having an effect on that outbreak, on the virus itself, or we can use the evolution of the virus to help track it through populations uh, and provide information for disease control. Um, also, I think there's going to be a greater integration of uh, this information about the virus biology and the virus genomics with aspects of uh, of, of host biology, so um, a, a greater integration with uh, host behaviour, host cell biology and biochemistry.